What's going on guys? So I just picked up this Game Capture HD from Elgato, the brand new HD PVR for recording video game footage. Uh, this one is very nice compared to the Hopog for a couple reasons. First, it's super small, it doesn't require a power, power cord. <laughs> doesn't require a power cord, it's crazy small, it does HDMI in and out, which is amazing, so you don't need to carry all those giant component cables everywhere. Uh, and it's just, it works really nice, but the biggest, biggest reason to go to this is uh, the software is great. Uh, I came from the Mac world, uh, recently moved to PC not too long ago, and I've uh, been dreading ever since the uh, not being able to use ITV, which is Elgato's bread and butter software for the Mac uh, to record your gameplay from HD PVRs. Um, they brought that same technology to Windows, and it basically allows where it's con continuously recording once you have it open. So you'll never have to worry about forgetting to hit that record button and missing something that just happened. Uh, it's recording constantly. You can just go back, rewind, and then you hit the record button where you want it to start. Uh, it's amazing. But part of that technology uh, causes a delay when it's showing the picture on your screen. So when you go to live stream, you have a sync issue with your microphone in the video because you're you're talking when you see it on the screen of your TV, but it's slightly delayed on your PC side. So uh, I'll give you a little example here. This was recorded from a live stream when I first got it. You can hear me say swing, uh, which is about two and a half to three seconds before my guy actually swings on the screen. So go ahead and watch this. Boy, have a rip at that one. Here's swing. The one -one. Let's see if that was delayed. If you heard swing before I actually swung. So as you can see, it's about three second delay. So if you're trying to live stream with XSplit on Twitch or YouTube or any other streaming site, you're going to have that audio delay. So it's going to give away stuff. It's not going to be as crisp and clean as it was on the Hop Hodge. So now I'm going to show you how to fix that delay. Uh, it requires two pieces of software. The links are in the description. The first one is virtual audio cable. Now they do have a demo for this, but it constantly says trial, trial, trial when you're recording. So unfortunately for this one, you're gonna have to buy it. It's $25, uh, you just scroll down, you can download the trial and try it out first, uh, but then you can click buy it line. 25 bucks, it's not that bad. Uh, so you need to download this, virtual audio cable. So first get that, and then you need to go to this website and download radio delay this one's free no charge no big deal so you download this puppy so once you have those two uh, programs go ahead and install them very easy to do that uh, once you have it installed you're just gonna go ahead and open up this radio delay uh, what you're gonna want to do is uh, change your input device to the microphone that you're actually gonna use when you stream so I have several microphones here uh, I'm using this one currently right now but I'm going to pick this one just so you can see what the test is. And then we're going to set a delay of how long we want this to delay for. Now on my live stream, it was about three seconds. Uh, you're going to have to tweak this number depending on how much of a delay you have on your computer. It's, I don't know if it's based on computer speeds or internet or whatever it could be. So you can adjust this. Basically what you do is you just set it to a number, go into your live stream and do what I did with the baseball where I said swing and then my guy actually swung. Uh, if you're doing Call of Duty, you can say, okay, well, guys, watch the stream. I'm going to say shoot. And when I say shoot, you let me know if my gun actually goes off. And then you can kind of adjust from there. So a good three seconds is a good starting point. Uh, and then what you want to do is change the output. This is going to be new for you guys. There's going to be line one virtual audio cable. So this is that other program that we installed. There's basically no setup you need to do for that. Just install it. Uh, so line one virtual audio cable. Click start. And then you can see when I talk into this there's a three second delay before it pops down here so easy peasy so once you have that now we're gonna go into XSplit this is where you need to make some modifications so right now it's showing my full screen blah 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 uh, all you gotta do is you go to tools general settings go to general and change your microphone to line one typically here you would change it to the microphone that you want to change it to but you're going to want to select line one. This is going to basically run through this radio delay. So you're picking the microphone you want to use. It's going to run through that and output it to this line one. So on the microphone side, you're going to pick line one. 
And then when I say, hello, there it goes, hello. So there's the three second delay between when I talk in the microphone to when it shoots on here, which is perfect. So again, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of testing to identify what number you're gonna wanna set this to. But like I said, for me, it's about three seconds and you could tweak that on the fly once you're in the stream. Uh, just have you guys test it and then you can tweak that number. So for about 25 bucks, you can fix the issue. Hopefully at some point XSplit or uh, Elgato includes some sort of audio delay system or be able to sync that up somehow. But until then, at least you can stream with your brand new Elgato HD capture card and uh, do it how you do it. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, feel free to leave a comment below. I answer anything I can. Uh, you can also reach me on Twitter at B-A-E-F. All right, thank you for watching, and yaosh, damn it.